Well, we have entered our 32nd week of Droughtlander. Last week was week 31, and as you know, no new videos last week. So we've got a little catching up to do. I had quite a few things posted, but I try to whittle it down to the things we would most want to know, especially if this is the only video that I'm able to get out this week. As you know, I've got a convention coming up later, and it kind of messes with my regular posting schedule, but we'll see what I can do, especially with my internet still not being connected. We are going to start with some throwbacks, some birthdays, some newer, not brand new, but newer behind the scenes stuff, and then a little bit from uh, most of our main cast. And we're going to start with this one with our leading man, Sam, making a goofy face with uh, the cameraman back there. This one is shared by Outlander Online. Throwback to Sam Hewn on the set of Outlander. Uh, and it's from their site, Archives. I do like to make sure that I always give credit to who is sharing these wonderful images with us so thank you outlander online and thank you sam for that very strange look on your face <laughs> and keeping with the throwbacks we've got sophie we've got caesar and we've got maria here it is a, a lovely little picture throwback i you know what i know the wedding was really really cool for the time but can i just say even today i would wear sophie's dress that is a really cool dress i love the embroidery Actually, my wedding dress was white with little embroidered flowers on there. So, yeah, go team. This is a great dress. Jocasta looking great. <laughs> We've got Fergus, of course, uh, over the shoulder, snarky. I don't know. He always looks a little snarky to me. But let's see. They've got a second one up here. And it's really, <laughs> see, snarky. Tell me he doesn't look like he's trying to get away with a little something. He reminds me of like a toddler who knows he's got a cookie and uh, is hoping nobody notices that he has a cookie. Sophie looks a little bored, but beautiful. And of course, so does Maria. Not a lot of action, but definitely worth a look here. Now, while these images are also sort of throwbacks, I don't believe we've seen a lot of them before because these are the uh, A-sides of season seven. And these are shared by Izzy, a.k.a. Rachel. And before I scroll up, I just want to make sure you can see it says new behind the scenes photos from Izzy Michael Small of Outlander Season 7A. Izzy shares some behind the scenes photos of the cast and a clip of Outlander Season 7A. Picks include John Bell, Joey Phillips, and Charles Vandervaart and a glimpse of the boat scene. And above the picture, it says some love from 7A. And we'll scroll down so we can see the picture a little bit better. Here we go. Yeah, lovely, lovely little image of the cabin outside. I Remember when we saw that cap and we we're like, ooh, I bet you that's where the hunters are going to live. Guess what? That's where the hunters live. And it is really decked out nicely. I like the flowers on the front. We've got, uh, what, something drying on the side or is that just fencing? It's difficult for me to tell sometimes. But yeah, you can you can see Joey back there with his puffy sleeves. I'm going to scroll down here and see what else we've got. And so just quite a bit of images loaded up here. We've got uh, from, let's go from left to right and lower as we go. We've got John Bell and then there is Izzy and Joey and then just Izzy giving us a peace sign. Lower down we get Charles and we have another of Izzy and then the bonnet and, well, bonnet. And then what is that again? That's just a cap, uh, nightcap what we always called them but i grew up with a little house so that was what it was called <laughs> nightcap and then i believe if i go down a little bit lower we get a video and again uh, these are all shared by outlander online i'll have the link for you below but let's take a look at this video I love that. We're having a lovely time. We're just, you know, chilling out on a, you know what? They did have to do the rowing. It wouldn't be too terrible. And that is all the behind the scenes I've got. Now it is time to wish a couple of happy birthdays to folks. These well wishes shared by Batgirl 95 UA. This one is a happy birthday to Caesar Dumboy. And hope you enjoy your celebrations. Co lovre Sonia Dut. And don't ever ask me to keep pronouncing those things properly. It's not going to happen. And happy birthday to Caesar, though. I wanted to start with him because, you know, he, he's pretty. <laughs> Speaking of pretty, a lovely man here also celebrating a birthday in this past week or so. This one also shared by Batgirl 95 UA. Happy birthday, James Fleet. I hope you enjoy your celebration. And, yep, I already mispronounced it once. That's all you get. Uh, so happy birthday to our reverend. Now, while we're celebrating stuff, let's celebrate the awesomeness of Katrina as she is uh, working on the cut. And this is a photo, insider's photo, I'm guessing, a new photo of Katrina Bell on the set of the cut shared by Balf Nation. And yeah, that is a just a good image. It looks like she's getting a little direction, listening. 
got the, uh, what What are they called? Punch hands? I have no idea what they're called. I'm not going to try to guess. <laughs> but you know what? I think she's probably more comfortable on this set than she is generally on Outlander because, you know, no corset. And while we're selling Katrina and her many achievements, why not this one? Lead actress in a drama. The nominees uh, among them are, of course, Katrina Bell for Outlander. So we will have to watch and see how she does at the IFTAs. And I nearly missed the announcement that Maria Kennedy Doyle has also earned a nomination for her part in Kin as a supporting actress. Good luck to our ladies both. Now, as you may or may not know, I do plan to announce an excursion of the Outlander convention variety after I get done with this convention, so in the next week or two. But if you would like to meet up with a star a little sooner than the convention I'm planning to go to sometime at the end of the year, well, I've got an opportunity for you. As it seems, Sophie will be heading out to the world. It says, calling all Outlander stars fans, join me for a night at the ultimate Outlander tour for Jacobite 45 rising themed dinner in the homeland of Outlander itself. Heading to Mary Coulter House Hotel, Aberdeenshire on the 10th of June. Get your cocktail attire at the ready and head to your VIP Outlander experience to secure your place. See you there. And I can at least say slunge. <laughs> and I'll see what links I can give you down below for that as well. And I thought to myself, if I'm going to share a little fun from Sophie, you know what? I need to find something from Richard because he hasn't had a lot out. And then I found something kind of humorous, but uh, we'll go with it. You know, I like comics on top of everything else. This one was right at my alley. All right. Now, uh, there is some music on here, but for copyright reasons, I'm going to add my own. It says uh, in the background, his trainer is saying lift. And then he does say hips, 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 hips. Nice. Reset. Go again. And poor Richard looks like he's going to fall down. But he does. He goes again. And like Superman, up, 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 up. He goes. Yes. Why, I do believe Roger Mack might have a muscle or two hidden under all those clues. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what else we've got next. Uh, one shared by Batgirl. Which is, let's face it, no real shock. This post with Ed Spillers here. It's Ed Spillers on embracing his first rom-com and getting swept up in Irish Wish with Lindsay Lohan. And I watched the movie. I thought it was cute, quite frankly. Not like, you know, big drama or anything. It's your basic rom-com. Cute story. Little magic thrown in there just for fun. Some cute twists. Some cute moments. And honestly, both Alex and Ed, they did really good. I enjoyed it. So let's see what Bad Girl has to say. Interesting interview with Ed Spilliers about the upcoming release of Irish Wish. Of course, it's already out uh, in his first time in a rom-com. And then there was a bit of a learning curve. A link here. I will share that link. You can see it here, but, you know, not the whole thing. So I'll be sharing that with you below. But it was an enjoyable movie. If you have Netflix, I wouldn't, like, highly recommend it as a must-watch. But you got some free time. You want a good laugh and a little entertainment just for fun or, you know, just to look at two good looking guys fighting over the same woman. Although not really fighting over. I don't want to give too much away. It, it's enjoyable. Watch it. Now, I am not quite done yet. I got two more gentlemen that we're going to share some stuff with. And of course, yes, one of them is Sam. But another one is giving us a warning that, quite frankly, is becoming a regular thing in these videos these last few times. So uh, first, we're going to check out an image shared by Duncan LaCroix. And this is it, shared again by Outlander Online. Duncan LaCroix is back in Glasgow after a trip to Australia for Hublander. Yeah, we, we, we know that because we watch way too many of these videos. Uh, and so we've got him back home uh, giving us a thumbs up. Not a lot going on here, but always worth a share, especially when he shared this afterwards. Hello, everyone. Um, been meaning to make a video about this for a while now um online scamming uh but i had a message from someone today which is very concerning and yeah, i've had a few in the past so i really want to um emphasize first of all i only have this account i'm only on instagram so if you're following me on twitter if you're following me on facebook if you're following me on some kind of uh other instagram account which says oh this is just a private account just for fans it's all bullshit, all complete bullshit. The all scammers is a whole huge industry. Uh, it's just like bot farms at this stage uh, run, I think, by AI. They just generate so many accounts and messages. They, you know, of course, they impersonate Sam, myself, Graham, everyone on the show, everyone on other shows. 
they anyone with, with with a large following they impersonate they try and get into uh fans accounts and message them uh i believe uh, they use Telegram as well. I'm not really sure what Telegram is, but they've used Telegram to contact uh, people pretending to be me, pretending to be my assistant. I don't have an assistant. Uh, pretending to be my publicity manager, all this manager, all this shit. Um, they, from what I can tell, ask um, fans to, to book them like hotel rooms or say that, that they're going to meet them um personally and they want money for vip meetings and blah 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 don't send any money to anyone we're never going to ask you for money we're never going to be contacting you personally um through you know social media um don't fall for it it's going to get worse as well with ai uh, now they can um of course ai can generate uh voices um the ai only has to listen to a, a voice clip for about three seconds i believe before it can like generate a whole you know a voice in, in the style of someone and it won't be too long before they'll be able to do that with images and video as well so it's it's tricky i know but please be careful don't fall for it uh beware of the scammers report them block them uh if they're not this instagram page that you're watching right now it's not me there you go so listen have a good day uh take care of yourself bye so um i guess repeating it is all we can really do make sure that you uh, share this information with anybody who you know is a fan who you know, would love to hear from their favorite actor. It doesn't obviously matter if it's Outlander. It doesn't matter if it's a show that you like. Just spread the word so people don't get taken. It's the best we can do is to make sure that people are forewarned, to make sure that they are aware that this is happening. Uh, it seems odd that some people wouldn't know, but not everybody gets online. So please do your best to spread the word, even if it's, you know, a quick, post on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, chat with friends while you're playing cards. You know, we all like what Euchre, Pinochle, bowling teams. Just spread the word the best you can. Help your friends, help each other out, and uh, help keep each other safe. Now, I do not want to end this video on such a depressing note. I want us to be careful, but I don't want us to be scared and sad. And who could I possibly put on your screen to give you a grin? Don't have to think about this one. Totally lying. I don't have to think about this at all. Welcome to Sassanac Classics. Today we're making the Sassanac Scottish Mule. Why is it called that? Well, once you take a little sip of this delicious cocktail, you make the sound of a Scottish Mule. You might hear that at the end. So for your Scottish Mule, you're going to need two ounces of Sassanac whiskey, four ounces of ginger beer, half an ounce of lime juice, three dashes of bitters, and you're gonna garnish it with a little bit of mint. Let's make the Scottish mule. Okay, first of all, just fill this lovely copper cup with ice. Gets it all nice and cold. Two ounces of Sassanach. This is a very popular drink. If you like ginger, you're gonna love this. Then we want our lime juice, three dashes of bitters, might give that a little stir down. This is apparently how you open ginger beer. Swap that up. And I might add a little bit more ice. And garnish with your Scottish mule garnish. Cheers. The Sassanac Scottish mule. Ah! <laughs> That's the sound of a Scottish mule. There you go, your Sassine Scottish mule. Woo, she's good. <laughs> That's great, he garnished himself. Uh, a little hat with a lime and a flower. That's the whole reason I chose that video. Like I say, a lot of times I don't, I don't watch these through. That way we can watch them together for the first time. Not unless you've seen him already, but uh, the reason I picked that one out of the few that he'd posted was the funny little garnish sprig thing. I thought that was cute. Um, I do hope that's a little bit of a better way to end this video with a little cheer and a little Sam. 
And uh, I may actually have myself a wine cooler tonight. It's been a, I'm I'm not enjoying the last seven days of insanity, um, but I think I may relax a little tonight now that I know how this recorded. I will have it out for you on Tuesday. Hopefully I will have a Star Trek video out on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. My hope is that I may actually get a second Outlander video out this week, uh, purely Sam, just because we love it. Uh, but it will depend on how I'm able to get uh, other things done for the convention, what happens. It's just it's a lot of stuff still up in the air. If I don't, please have a great rest of the weekend. Patreons, make sure you check out uh, the Patreon site because we did not get to chat last week. And so I have a, a proposition for you for the next week. I have a video that explains what the heck happened last week. You can check that out here on this channel as well. Now, if you've been to this channel before, or even if this is your first time and you enjoy the format, Give me a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when other videos come out. But be aware that I tend to post about other shows as well, especially Star Trek and occasionally just, you know, random stuff because uh, things are happening in the entertainment world and it's fun to stay on top. I will be at a convention this weekend, so do expect at least one live uh, as I chat with uh, maybe other convention goers, cosplayers. Don't know exactly what I'll show off because you can never really tell what you're going to see at a convention. So until the next video, please take care of yourselves. Be aware of the fraudsters out there. And if you just haven't got enough information and fun discussions about Outlander, please check out any of my other videos here. And as always, you know, I'll see you there. So thank you, Outlander. Uh, I have got this from Ed... Bear does not want me to talk about Ed Spillers. He's a little jealous. And you enjoy the format for this? And getting swept up in Irish wish, Irish wish, Irish wish. Mm -hmm.